welcome to another episode of Air Gundy, Texas. I'm your host, JC, and today we're going to take the mystery out of the JTS Aracuda Max. This is a PCPU uh, rifle. This is not even on the market yet, but it's, it'll be coming out soon. But before we get started on this, do me a favor if you hadn't already, hit that subscribe button down there in the corner. It won't cost you anything. It's absolutely free, but it really helps support the channel. Also, when you have the chance, check out my website, www.airgundetectives.com. On that site, I've got t-shirts, I've got hats, I got my Generation 2 bipods, and I just picked up a very limited number of these compact scopes. These scopes are actually put out by um, Rex. They're actually really cool. But just go to my website. I'll put a link directly for these. But I got a very limited number of them and I've got a really good deal on them. So go check that out when you have an opportunity. All right, let's get back to this JTS. We first got to see these at the SHOT Show, if you remember correctly. And Travis was kind enough to show us through these and give us a little taste. So I've been dying to check these out. But let's talk some specifics about these. Uh, this is JTS. This is a new brand that's uh, actually the parent company is Cisco. But let's talk about the specifics on these. First of all, one of the most obvious parts when you, when you look at this rifle, it's all metal. There's no plastic parts on it whatsoever. That mean, I mean, trigger guard's metal, the trigger's metal, Everything's metal. It's, it's, uh, most of it's an alloy. And it's got a really nice wood stock on it. It's got this thumb hole wood stock and it's got an adjustable cheek rest that can actually be adjusted up and down and then it can tilt forward or back. So you can really uh, get this thing dialed in for you. This PCP rifle is regulated. Yes, regulated. So what you have here is you've got the fill pressure and this gauge right here in the front. And then you have your regulated pressure with this gauge right here in the back. So you can set that up. We're just going to shoot it just the way it comes from the factory. It's got a 220cc tank. It's a 3,000 PSI fill. And what's really nice about this, this has a very large plenum. That's the tank area under here, very large plenum. And uh, the bigger the plenum, the more power you're going to get out of it. So we're going to test this. This is set up with a foster fill right here just unscrew this and this night this is all metal this is all solid alloy this is all metal but it's got your standard foster fitting to fill it right there which is really great and notice this this screws on which is nice it's not one of those plastic caps that slip off also this barrel the shroud here you've got a half by 20 thread here so you can set yourself up with a suppressor and guess what we got suppressors you know uh Buck and Rail has suppressors that will go right on this. I'll leave you a link as well uh, in the description for that. But let's talk about this 18 inch barrel. It's shrouded and it has an air stripper built into it. It's also got this fully adjustable two stage trigger and the trigger is pretty awesome. And stick around for the end of this review and the conclusion. I'm going to give you really a close up look at this trigger. It's what you'll only see here. You're going to detect this. All right, this is a side lever action. Yes, and it can be decocked. So move that forward. But it's got a very positive lock. When that, when that flips forward, very positive. That's for sure. The magazines on this, it comes with two nine round magazines. In 25 caliber, you got nine rounds. 22 calibers, you have 10 rounds. But you know what's really great about these magazines? First of all, once again, all metal. They're not that cheap plastic but I love the way you load these. Let me show you. So these, all you do is you put a pellet in and you rotate. No putting in a pellet backwards or moving a plastic shield, have to come around with the spring because you know those can break and do all kinds of things. This is this simple. You just drop a pellet in, just like this, and then rotate it. Then drop your next pellet in and rotate it. What's really cool about this, let's just say you've shot a few shots and now you want to top off your magazine, you just add the pellets. You don't have to unload them like those other magazines. And this comes with two magazines, full metal magazines. They're great. And also, it'll come with some spare seals and uh, obviously some different uh, O-rings and what have you. So they're just trying to give you everything. So you got the two mags, which is fantastic. The gun itself, it weighs under eight pounds, just under eight pounds. It's uh, 41 and a half inches long. 
The entire rifle. So this entire package, so you're getting, let's just go over this one more time. So you're getting a fully regulated rifle that's, that's all metal, that's got a fully adjustable two-stage trigger, side lever cock, great stock with adjustable uh, cheek rest. You know what the retail value on this? On this? Yes, I'm going to tell you. 420 bucks. If this performs, this could just change the whole dynamics of PCP rifles. Because I've, I've tested a lot of different rifles. And to get a rifle that normally has all this uh, type of features, you know, you're looking at close to $1,000. That's for sure. But the key is, but how well does it form? It looks great, but is this going to be one of those fancy looking cars with a weak motor in it? Or is it going to be a strong motor? Well, stay tuned for the next segment. And we're going to answer that question. All right, let's see how well our Aracuda or JTS does over the chronograph. We're going to start, and I'm going to use a 20.06 grain lead pellet, 25 caliber, 20.06. And then I'm going to tell you how it did with a 28 grain slug. So let's shoot five shots over the crony, give you guys an average. All right, shot number one, 960. Shot number two, 968. Shot number three, 963. Shot number four, 964. And one more shot, 963. Very consistent, and that is a lot of power coming out of there, that's for sure. Um, let's tell you how it did with the uh, 28 grain slugs, HPs. We got 810 feet per second average and a whopping 41 foot pounds of energy out of this. This is fantastic. It really is. Pretty incredible. Okay, there you go. Let's move on to the next segment. All right, let's try a little accuracy test with this. And like what I've been doing with the PCPs lately is I go a full 40 yards back. But before uh, we get into that, I uh, just want to thank Splatterburst once again. Check this out. They come out with these rolls of targets now. So they're adhesive. You just unroll them, stick them on. They're great. These are the four-inch targets. These are what we're going to be using. I'll leave a link down below for you. But I just love how you can see the impact on them. Also, we're going to be shooting the H&N slugs. These are a, these ones are actually a 28-grain slug. 25 caliber hollow point. This gun is not pellet picky whatsoever, I'm telling you. But I really just kind of like, because these are a heavier pellet at this distance with any wind. Let's just see how, how well they do as far as that goes. But we're, uh, we're 40 yards back. Go ahead, take a quick look here. All right, see how well we can do. That was one. That's two. That's three. And four. And five. Whoa. Now that is one heck of a group. Shooting a 28 grain slug from 40 yards out. You gotta love it. All right, let's move on to the next segment. All right, let's test the trigger on our JTS here. I have to tell you guys up front, they're phenomenal triggers. They're at full adjustment. I'm gonna cover that in the conclusion. I'm gonna get into detail and show you some uh, close up pictures of the actual workings of the trigger. Something you'll only get here. All right, so let's test the trigger. Got our trusty Lyman trigger gauge here. Let's see what type of pull weight we get. All righty. That was one pound, 15 ounces. One pound, 15 ounces, phenomenal. 
and the t trigger is totally adjustable, however you want to set it up. All right, let's move on to our next segment. All right, you guys know my favorite portion, any review, it's blinking because I got to knock some stuff down. But let's see how our Aracuda does at our 40 yard plinking range. Anyway, we're going to use the same, the H&N slugs, the one we did the accuracy test with. So I just love that 28 grains uh, going down range. That's pretty good impact. We'll be able to hear that with some of these still targets. Go ahead and take a look about how far we're shooting from. It's our usual 40 yards. So we've got a few targets there, some really small ones as well. All right, let's see how we do. Start with the uh, shotgun shell on the right side there. That's a hit. And the next one. That looked like a nick. It moved it, but let's, let's knock it off there. There we go. That's more like it. All right, now listen to the impact of this little pig. Yeah. And let's see, we got little eggs there. And another little egg. Two for one, that, that lead just splatters. So let's get that last little egg there. Yeah. This thing hits with definite authority. That 28 grains going down range, you can't beat it. All right, let's move on to the next segment and wrap this up. All right, let's wrap this up with our conclusion. Wow. This JTS Aracuda Max, I'm thoroughly impressed. But like anything else, let's talk about the negatives. Okay, you guys want to know what my number one negative is on this rifle? I know you're thinking. The fact it's not going to be available until summer. At earliest is possibly June. Honestly, that's my only negative on this rifle. It is absolutely incredible. I was absolutely thrilled with the performance. And I have to tell you, Travis, you hit a home run on this one. You absolutely hit a home run. This rifle, seriously, is simply amazing. Let's talk about the positives. Let's go over those real quick. All right, so you got a you got a terrific stock on it. You really do. It feels just awesome. It's a very balanced rifle. Very very balanced rifle. I like the fact that it's a 3,000 psi fill, and you and it's regulated. So what we're going to get is we're going to get regulated shots out of it. So I went ahead and charted this out for you guys. So check this out. You're going to get 35 good regulated shots averaging about 40 foot-pounds of energy. That's incredible. It actually loved the H&N slugs, the 28 grain, but it's not pellet picky. It, you can shoot pretty much any 25 caliber pellet out of this. It really is amazing. Extremely powerful. Yes, powerful. And then on top of it, we got the accuracy to match. You guys saw what I did at 40 yards with this thing. That group, that was a quarter inch group. It was amazing at 40 yards. Another thing I like about this, if you'll notice the probe here, it pushes our pellet forward, or our bolt, whatever you want to call it. There's no O-rings on it. It's, it's so precisely machined, it doesn't need O-rings. So that's one less thing you got to worry about, is putting O-rings on that, that's for sure. The trigger, let me talk to you guys a little bit about the trigger. And only here, you're going to get the inside pictures of what this trigger, me trigger mechanism looks like. So check out the trigger. This is awesome. So here's the inside workings of it. So you can see it's really easy to polish. You can polish those contact points. But anyway, screw number A, go ahead and look at A here. That's your sear engagement screw. Yes, there's a little screw in there. And that's how you're going to engage the sear as far as how much pressure you actually put on the trigger for the rifle to shoot. And then B, that screw is for your length of pull. So that takes up that little slack out of the trigger. So if you don't want any length of pull, you can tighten that up. So basically you touch the trigger and it goes off. And then you can see it's simply just got springs in there. So if you're one of those guys like me and likes to tinker with a trigger, this is the perfect trigger to do that with. Easy access to it. You can polish it. You could even change out a little spring if you wanted to do it. But you don't need to, honestly. Just adjust it and shoot it. The trigger is amazing. I showed you guys how the trigger was. So that's pretty awesome. Also, what I like about it is the fact that this is set up 
with the one half by 20 and we could put our buck rail suppressor on there yeah you guys know you can get these really inexpensive from buck rail and they work amazing they really do really quiet down the gun the gun's not over overly loud at all but i mean if you wanted it really really quiet you throw one of those buck rail suppressors on it and you're good to go i like the fact it has the side cocking lever on here so i can show this to you right here you guys know that i like it it's very positive but it locks forward i like the fact that both gauges are right there on the bottom they're easy to see and I like the fact that these magazines, these magazines here, they're all metal and they give you two of them. How many of them don't give you two of them? And the way they load, they load just amazing where you don't have to, as we said before, put that one pellet in backwards and spin the cover around it. You don't have to do all of that. So this gun is absolutely amazing. And for the $420 price tag, it's gonna be tough to get a better PCP than this even close to that price it really is so do i think this is the best pcp for the money absolutely guys this is five star gun all the way without a doubt i'm telling you this could change the pcp industry because look around in order to get a rifle that has all of these features you're normally going to pay a lot more than that here's another good thing our buddy mike at flying dragon air guns is going to be carrying these rifles and there's also another version that's a non-regulated that would be great for hunting. It's very powerful and it's light. I'm going to feature that in the upcoming months before it's released so you guys can check that one out as well. But Mike at Flying Dragon Air Rifles is going to be carrying these. So you guys might want to email him. I don't know if he's taking pre-orders or what he's doing, but these are going to be one hot item. Anyway, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Air Gun Detectives. Don't forget, this is where we take the mystery out of the air gun. Until next time, I hope you get a lot of shooting in. I hope your families are all safe and healthy. And God bless you. Take care.